Welcome. So today we're going to be uh, hosting a website with Nellify for free. All right. Here's one I got. This is the one I have. This is my my own portfolio. Okay. And so the reason why we need to host it this way is because some people that don't want to buy a domain yet that likes to see their website up online and then you know once they make something they're proud of they want to share it to their friends you know for example like this one I made for for a friend you know I just want to share it to a friend say hey look I got this one as a um, showcase how do you like it you know they can look at this and and dictate whether they want to you know whether they like it looking like this up online and they can share it to their friends and members like this I did it for a church and they can share it throughout their members and then you know and then they can decide whether they like it or not so that's one benefit of it okay now let's get started to the real thing we are gonna do so there are a couple things you need to do to sign up hopefully you are not new to github you need a github and nellify it's very easy to sign up and you need to connect them with github later so let's see now in order to continue we need to get a new name for the red repo all right i'm gonna call it go go travel and then create and that's all you gotta do for now and let's pull up our code base hopefully you guys have the code ready you know because this is not the tutorial on how to uh, create a website from a scratch but let's run it see what we so I'm gonna host this website online if you guys are interested in this website on how I made it comment down below and I will do a tutorial on how to do it all right so this is the website that we will host close it and let's go down here I don't know about other stuff but we need github with this and uh, visual studio works really good with github so I suggest you get uh, visual studio code editor it will make your life so much easier all right now let's start by doing by following these command first of all we're gonna do git init okay we got that and using this link here git remote add okay now what is the status let's see what do we do next we need to add all the file okay add and then clear it real quick and then get status again so changes need to be committed we can go over here just copy this line paste it over and let it go like that and I don't think it's necessary to do this line right here so let's jump over here and hit enter see notice this origin main I have a main but if I have a master I would do master instead this is the command that changes the branch you know 
but we don't need to do that all right now we can refresh it and view our code it's up over here now it's ready to go let's go back over here we can close our github go over here and add a new site import an existing project right github connected with github find the repo that we created which was mine was go travel right here we go and then so branch to deploy is main so we got main on it if it were to be okay so we just hit deploy site wait for a couple of seconds and it's building it's building all right now it's ready see how, how easy that is now i can use this link to share it to everyone to a friend and everybody will see the same thing now let's change the domain setting because i don't like this thing it's not really memorable right we can add a custom domain but we'll do that later if you want but i'm gonna call this when go travel okay let's go back here site so here notice the the link is so much easier to to remember instead of all those gibberish so have a domain i will be showing you how to transfer it as well but now for those of you that does don't have it click on the link below and it will take you to this page we're gonna be using this one right add a card I think it's pretty pretty simple all right and this is how much it costs you for a for how many years for 48 months you know this is the best deal 48 months for 2.99 a month uh, of course you could choose these if you want but it's really up to you see how much you want to pay this is monthly billing at 11.99 so you could save hack a lot of money all right now let's use this and let's start putting in our info okay i think this time it, it works all right i'm who are you creating the website for for myself I'm building it myself to the vlog a portfolio let's do a portfolio whatever you know um, if you say you're a beginner you can if you want say no thanks skipped select free domain enter so i'm gonna do when go travel dot com search are you taking try a site okay so i got that one hit continue okay finish shut up so that was pretty easy choose country united states 
of America. And should I? Yeah, need to put some, you know, your location and whatnot. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Low case, man. We finished registering. Okay. When go travel site dot com is being Just wait a little bit more to my you know, second part of the video where we already purchased our domain and we put our website online but we don't have a custom domain yet right uh, so it's gonna go something like Mm. So, yeah, we're gonna have to check DNS configuration. All right. Okay. No, no, no. We gotta set this up. Nullify. So you go to your website, right? This the one we had. Right, and originally but we want to change it to this because we bought our domain from here so we just want to connect them together to do that you go over here set up nullify DNS we got to verify first sorry if you haven't done this steps you know it's gonna ask you in a box here to enter your website your domain from here hosting it and then paste it in here and it's gonna say the same thing you verify right it's already registered if you register the domain through a different register select add to delegate it to Nellify. So we're gonna wait a bit, but this will be simply, you know, it's simply easy, easy process. And add DNS records. We don't need that. What we need are these four right here. These are the mo the most important uh, factors. So, so just leave this <coughs> for now. Let's go over to uh, <clears throat> Hostinger, excuse me, and go, just click here, right? Go to the home page, and then go to domain, manage. And then we're gonna go down here to DNS name servers. We're gonna change it. We're gonna change name servers. We're gonna go over here, copy, these one by one and paste it over here overriding those okay and this and this okay we save it that's all we gotta do it says it may take up to 24 hours for the domain to propagate to the new name servers so all we gotta do is wait 
or we could test it out right now but let's see what we gotta do okay let's test it out um, so is if you go there right dashboard you're gonna see some messages your domain is not connected to hosting you your website will not be visible online until the domain is connected to keep in mind it may take up to 24 hours okay let's see so it even says here waiting for activation the activation should take up to 48 hours all right let's test this right now okay it's not up there yet so let's give it some time and see and we'll come back for it later all right guys this is it for now and just keep in mind to you know <laughs>